the heart of the Old West is Central Texas. In this rugged and opposing land, settled by early pioneers, is the 10th Congressional District, surrounding the state capital, Austin. There, the people of two counties are moving their beautification and restoration programs forward with enthusiasm and pride. On July 7th, the wife of a former congressman from the 10th District returned for a reminiscent first-hand look. Escorted by 10th District Congressman J.J. Pickle, Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson opened her tour, appropriately enough, with a visit to Lockhart, Texas. There, President Johnson's family, as early pioneers and cattlemen, settled in the middle 1800s. An authentic frontier town, it was a major starting point for cattle drives up the Chisholm Trail. Restoration, now in progress, will not only bring Lockhart the most modern city planning of the day, but will still retain its original 19th century town of the West characteristics. While the subject of interest for many admiring people, Mrs. Johnson had an opportunity to see and meet again long-standing friends of earlier days. And she did not miss the opportunity to meet some of her husband's favorite people, the children of Head Start. This program's goal is to help less affluent American families give their children the chance for a better future. Though originated by Lyndon Johnson as part of his war on poverty, Head Start's most enthusiastic proponent may be in the distaff side of the White House. Also seen, grassroots patriotism at Lockhart Square, where Mrs. Johnson led a flagpole dedication ceremony. Eventually, the flags of all the states and territories will fly alongside the Stars and Stripes. The town of Praha is evidence that America's true melting pot is the heartland of the nation. Unlike seaboard cities, where immigrants were pitted against one another to improve their lot, here, people of many cultures and backgrounds learn to live and work together for their common good and the promise of a better future for their children. To tame the West required not only physical but spiritual strength. At Praha, St. Mary's Church and Father Marcus Valenta symbolized the faith and strength of the people. Father Valenta, veteran of Pearl Harbor, served throughout World War II in the Pacific. St. Mary's, begun in 1890, is kept almost perfectly in its original state. Interior paintings of European flowers, done by an unknown traveling Czech artist in 1895, combine the beauty and heritage of the old world with frontier America. Throughout the day, an appreciative first lady took the pleasure of many stops along the way to greet well-wishers and admirers. At noon, on the banks of the Colorado River at Monument Hill State Park, another pleasant stop was for a local-style picnic. The menu and entertainment have changed little over the past hundred years.
after viewing the site of an amphitheater designed for outdoor dramatic productions, Mrs. Johnson went on to visit a source of refreshment for the cowboys and settlers of early central Texas, the now abandoned Chrysia Brewery. For early Texans, life was a struggle against a hostile nature, Indians, and a long past despotic government to the south. Monument Hill is a shrine to those whose sacrifice helped create a free republic of Texas. The state and the nation today are evidence that their perseverance during that seemingly hopeless struggle for freedom over a century ago was not in vain. Like all America, Texas reveres its past while looking to the future. Symbolic of this facet of character is one of Mrs. Johnson's most cherished projects, local beautification. In the planting of a sapling lone pine in front of Fayette County Courthouse, the First Lady reaffirmed our faith in tomorrow. For in decades hence, it will be new generations that will enjoy the full beauty of a mighty pine. A 130-year-old stopping place for travelers is Winedale Stagecoach Inn. Welcomed by Miss Ima Hogg, Mrs. Johnson toured a faithful representation of early America. Her hostess purchased and supervised the restoration of the inn and presented it to the University of Texas. be used by the university as a center for the study of Texas architectural and social history. The most extensive restoration project in Texas is the town of Round Top. The center of old world culture and crafts since frontier days, the entire town is being restored by interested private citizens such as Miss Hogg, Mrs. Charles Bidey, and Mrs. Hazel Ledbetter. July 7th is now a memory of gems of history and pockets of charm. Frontier America left for posterity. For Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson, it was a refreshing study of the weave of the many and varied cultural threads that make Texas and America great. A study also of the pride of heritage that is going into the work of beautification and restoration of grassroots America. For all she met and for all she saw, it was a delightful day with the First Lady. 